Okay, so uh, in the next part here, we're going to um, actually take the part out of the bag. Um, so this is, uh, takes a while, so, you know, part this big, you know, set yourself aside a couple hours for pulling this out of the bag. Um, but I'll show you steps along the way. Some simple tools you'll need, gloves. Um, I like channel lock pliers, but other pliers can work. Um, you'll see why the channel locks are uh, something I like. Um, a sharp uh, flat head screwdriver, and then a very sharp fresh blade uh, in your utility knife. So, and then you'll need a garbage can or some receptacle for all of the uh, stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bag off, um, which is the pink looking material. And the easiest way to do that is just to start cutting and pulling it off. Tip when pulling this stuff off, I like to pull it off of one side and then the other, but <clears throat> um, sometimes the bag sticks pretty good to the part, so just make sure you give it sharp jerks. And that will help get it from the bag. Just like that. Feel yourself trying to get all of the bag off. You're gonna have little remnants here and there. Not a big deal, it's just nice to have it out of the way for the next step. Now, the next step has to do with this guy and this guy, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the inside of our part and we're gonna make a little incision right here. And you're gonna start to see some of this material way and it's good to start on an edge and just kind of scratch it until you see that white and what that is is that's the peel ply so then you can take our screwdriver try to get it in there put your finger on the top and press down and you're going to want to start working this until you get kind of a working area here where you can see it's all white and I can start peeling that off. Now that's your starting point and that's where you're going to start to peel back the peel ply and peel it off the part. Now what I like to do is I like to peel it all off the back as much as I possibly can, relieve it from the front and then what I'll do is I'll pull the front off all in one piece. We'll see how that goes with this big part but uh, that's how you get it started. So now you can see we can start, we're peeling back the peel ply and you can actually see the carbon fiber. Don't worry about those scratches, those are from the uh, screwdriver and the uh, X-Acto knife. But um, those will come out when you actually coat the part uh, with uh, some epoxy resin afterwards and you'll get a nice glossy finish. Um, and this surface is sandable. Uh, the only issue is, is that if you start getting black, that's bad because you're starting to cut into the carbon fiber. And this layer of epoxy is actually quite thin, so you want to be really careful with it. Now what I'll do is I'll actually start peeling this back with these pliers, and that's why I like the channel locks. Because what I can do, let's see if I can do this one-handed, I can peel it back like that, and you can see how it's kind of pulling up. And then what I'll do when that pulls up is I'll cut that with the X-Acto knife, and I'll just keep running it down like I did here. And you just want to peel that thing all the way back. Now when you get a significant chunk of it peeled back, you'll want to cut it off here. Um, and that's so that you can get these guys back in here and start the peeling process again. Just like that. And just keep cutting and just keep going along until you've got most of the part. And then we'll, uh, the other thing we'll do is we'll pull back these edges from the part. And we'll do that with the a little screwdriver here. Let's see if I can get that in there. Peel back these parts. And then take our pliers and grab it like this. And we'll peel it back around the other side. And just keep moving down doing that so that you can get this peel ply around the corner. Okay? So here's the part out of the bag. 
Um, I still have some pieces to take off, but most of them are, you know, in these little areas. And you just got to slowly kind of chip those out. Um, but mostly the carbon fiber comes out nice. You see a few little scratches here and there, but that's not a big deal. Those can be sanded out. Um, and there you go. You have yourself a piece. Um, there is a little bit of distortion on this piece, but nothing that can't be handled by the way we mount it. Um, and then the next thing will be to gap everything, and then uh, we'll get it prepared for paint. So thanks for watching this series. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post it. Um, and uh, we'll uh, go over some other types of uh parts and things that we do on uh, this uh, particular project and hopefully make some more videos. Thanks again.